the Samsung Galaxy S8. This is a beauty. This for 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 shit. I broke my phone again. This always happens to me. Shit. Hey, why didn't you buy the S8 Active phone? What? It's here? No, but the leaks are. So, after the notes, Samsung was going for the Actives, but this got released beforehand. Interested to know more? Then hit the subscribe button to stay on alert. Let's dive in. Well, this unit looks very much like the LG G6. There is a tall screen with curved side, but no edge curves that we saw in the S8 and the S8 Plus this year. Well, this is a very good choice as the curved screen is prone to cracks and we need this phone to be as strong as possible. As expected, the S8 Active will have the same specs as the S8 that came up this year. The Snapdragon 835 is still fresh, so it will make its debut on the Active category now. The screen is a 5.8 inch Super AMOLED display that we really love from Samsung with the Gorilla Glass 5 for protection. The camera will be 12 and 8 megapixel with the same software integration as the Bixby and all the sensors found on the Galaxy S8 will be included here. The battery, however, will be a massive 4000 mAh as it is rumored. That should wrap up the specs. Now, if you think it's a LG G6 with hard corners that made it rugged, remember, it's the ruggedness that is the key feature of the phone. It does look very much like the LG G6 from the front, but hey, the fingerprint scanner is still in that odd position. Don't forget that. Oh yeah, and there is no dual cameras. So, will you wait for this phone or should you try something else? Let's find out. I will be back with some more reviews on the budget end of the Samsung this week. Stay close. Sajid out.